Here's a question I received today and through a few emails thought I would make a video and uh, share my opinion. The individual has an existing floor with a floor joist and uh, I guess there's an engineer that uh, they're going to be modifying the building and the engineer required them to uh, nail two additional floor joists or attach them to the existing floor joists to create some type of a beam that will carry some more uh, a load from above. So again, this is what it would look like. Have existing floor joists running 16 inches on center. The engineer would like them to install two more floor joists. Now these floor joists right here, and uh, unless you get engineering, unless you get engineering specifying otherwise, need to be full length. They need to go from the end of the wall to the end of the wall. And of course, you would need to check with the engineer because sometimes engineers will allow you, if you can't get the floor joists in, um, to sit on the wall maybe an inch and a half on each side. This would all depend upon the uh, situation and whether the engineer would allow it. Now here's what the homeowner is suggesting and I can see where uh, common sense could draw a conclusion. They actually have a heating duct that's in the way. It, they, we have a basement down here and they have the floor joist that runs through and he was wondering if he could attach something like this so that uh, he wouldn't need to remove the ducting. If he could actually um, install floor joist that he could actually get into this area and slide in either directions around here. You can see where something like this would make it difficult to get a floor joist in from um, from the bottom here. So the duct would have to be removed and he's basically saying that uh, if he has to he will but uh, it could cost a lot of money. So he's he's wondering, hey can I do something like this? Could I install uh, maybe two shorter boards you know, something half the length and then maybe um, a couple of boards like this to carry the uh, and bolt them together to carry the load instead of having the tripler. And I'm saying that you would need to get um, more information from the engineer. I know this makes sense. I know this is like, yeah, if I bolted something like this together, I mean, if I put a couple of bolts here, two here, two here, two here, two here, and then two bolts here, and then two bolts here, you know, one bolt here, and then one bolt down here, you would actually create a beam. And I am not going to argue with that. You would create something that would be stronger than if you didn't bolt it together, if you just nailed it together, um, or, um, you know, you're basically going to create something that is going to have some type of um, enough strength to support a certain amount of weight. What I'm suggesting is that you contact the engineer or if you do something like this, keep in mind that let's just say that if you have three full length um, two by tens, then the weight that they might support might be 100 pounds. Let's just, I'm just throwing a rough number out there. Um, don't to hold me to it there. This is just for example purposes only. So a, a tripler, three two by tens nailed together, bolted together, supports 100 pounds. If you do something like this, it might only support 60 pounds. This is the point I'm trying to get at. Something like this is not going to be as strong as if you have three boards and might actually require additional boards to do something like this. So in order to get the same strength out of something like this, you might need to, you might need to bolt together five boards instead of three boards. And I'm just throwing that out there. Um, do not hold me to anything on that. Um, remember, this is just an answer to an email to provide somebody with some information before they do something they might regret. And uh, so again, common sense would tell you, hey, let's go ahead and uh, do something like this. And uh, you would create a strong piece of lumber, but it just might not be strong enough. And that's the point I'm trying to make. So uh, for the person who I am sending this information out to, you just might need to remove the ducting. I know it's not, not what you want to hear. Or contact the engineer and see if, you, if they actually have something that uh, you can do differently. So that's it for this video. It is off to the next one. And if you like them, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button every, every once in a while.